to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Showing up at Bonner Elementary School on a Friday to Hi, talk to the kids is this, there. Is this a uh, kindergarten cop? Yes. Such a good movie. It really is a good movie. And the kid was climbing up that pole. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? The the electric thing? Yeah. The, yeah. Crazy. Good movie. The end of it, very violent. Yeah. The fire. I, I was watching it with the, uh, with the kid. And uh, I forgot how it ended. And then, of course, that's when mom showed up. And I'm like, there's like a gun to my head. I'm like, oh, sorry, guys. Hell, <laughs> Roman watched the roast with us last night. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He was laughing. He didn't know what he was laughing at. Every time we laughed, he laughed. <laughs> that's great. I love it. Uh, so, yeah, it was great. I got to talk to some fifth graders, fourth graders in one kindergarten class. I love doing That's career awesome. day because it's a madhouse at the school during career day. Yeah, for sure. But it is so fun. And it's also cool that we have cool jobs where they want us there. <laughs> yeah, like there were a bunch of cool. Like, so you have the uh, you have the police, you have the fire, the military there, obviously. Realtor. Uh, I am a, a, a personal trainer. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, uh, the the uh, Chick Fil A cow was there. I love that. <laughs> Every it was a it was nuts. There were limos, like it was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So um so they're getting to talk to the kids and like some of these kids, man, they have such good questions. There's some of them listen to us, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, they asked whether or not uh, we're married. And I said, Very no, funny, yeah. I'm like, we're like husband and wife on air. Yes. So when we're in, like, as a team, we are mm -hmm. for four hours a day, married to each other. Yes. But then we get to divorce each other for 20 <laughs> hours a day. Yes. Uh, and that's how we don't go insane. <laughs> um, they were asking how like the radio broadcast gets sent. Cause like, they know like how streaming works. It goes to the internet, done. But how does like how's your can your car get 1027? And like mm -hmm. I exp I'm like wow that's a brilliant question. Okay, mm -hmm. I explained the technology. Do you even know? <laughs> like yeah, I, yeah, I, I sort of it's like you have to go as a thing on the tower here, which goes to a mountain over there, and that one has a whole bunch of power that if you brought like a taco next to it, it would fry, and mm -hmm. then boom, that gets to your car. Unbelievable, yeah. whatever. So for everyone that's worried about 5G, trust me, we've been frying your brains for a lot longer than that. <laughs> um, uh, and just a lot of stuff. Now, one thing, the common refrains, uh, I was asked how old I was, and I said 40. And uh, there was always, in one class, every one kid in every class, a child, mouth would drop to the ground like shock mm -hmm. that a 40-year-old was there talking to them. And I'm yeah. like, I looked at him, I'm like, and this is, I had said it, in, I had to say it in every class, I'm 40, but I have not grown mentally Yes. Since I was 15. Exactly. 15 is when my cutoff was. Everything I like, pretty much, boom, ended at 15. How I am, boom, created by, by when, the where I was when I was 15 years old. Mm -hmm. So that is my question today. Do you feel like you've actually grown up really deep inside since high school? 702-597-1027. That's the one thing I had to tell all these kids. I had a five, uh, uh, fifth grader uh, chaperone uh, that was joining me uh, around. I'm just totally spaced on his name. I'm really sorry. He was a great kid. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and and he heard this story over and over and over again. <laughs> so, oh, but, yeah. yeah. But like, you know, I, I feel like genuinely like a lot of the things I like, the foods I like, the way I act is kind of the way I was when I was 15. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know. I was uh, Speaking of the kid that dropping <laughs> the jaw at 40, you know, when you get to the age where people are like, oh, you don't look your age, I hate because that's, you're old. Yeah. You know, I just, oh gosh. Because I was going to say, well, maybe they think you're young for your age. I don't know. Um, no, I don't think I have grown up. Sometimes it'll hit me, like if I get annoyed with something in the neighborhood and I'm like, oh man, I am getting old. But for the most part, uh, I, I don't feel my age, I guess. I but I also don't think that, it, I don't think at 38 that I'm old. No, and I don't think at 40 that I'm old. Mm -mm. Now, I thought when I was younger, 40-year-olds were old. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> now I don't at all. Right. I'm like, hey, well, Brian's texting, I'm 65, still a big kid for sure. Yeah, yeah, I think this is why, like, a lot of these things, like, this is why there's a large, giant Connect Four in our backyards now. Mm -hmm. This is why we can uh, gamble on Papa Shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it's because we all wanted this stuff when we were younger, and now we get to make it all reality. Right. This is what, like, this is what it is. We just kind of want it to be... Our way. We all want, like back in the day, I'm like, well, when I grow up, I want I want there to be this. And now we're just making it because we can't. Yeah. I mean, just going to the, the rap beef that's going on right now between Drake and Kendrick Lamar, <laughs> I am so into it because my kid's into it. So I try, like, I want to be in the know when it comes to all that stuff. Yeah. I will say that's when I realized I was old, when I wasn't in the know and had to watch YouTube and TikTok videos uh, and try to get caught up with it. But I want to be there. I want to know. Excuse me, son. What, what does yeet? 
Me? Yeet. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeet? Man. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know. It was really cool. The kids were great. The school was excellent. I got a little uh, succulent to bring home. You know, they always oh, cool, have a yeah. gift or something. Uh -huh. I have the succulent, and uh, my goal now, to not uh, have it die. Yeah. And I've heard go. it's very easy to keep alive. They say that. They say that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll see. Ke easy to keep an ant farm alive, too. Yeah. Ask the ants when I was eight. Let me say <laughs> They ain't alive anymore. To answer your question, if I've grown up since I was in high school, so I want to say deep inside, sure, yes, I've grown up in a sense that I was a lesbian in high school, and now I'm married with children. <laughs> <laughs>